1,700 metres. Flags up, they sent on their journey. Son of Raj just jumped in for his stride, but is on the rail back in third as the grey Blitzen proceeds on by a length and a tail. The Royal Blue Silks of Insightful is going to move out a share of second with Son of Raj. Red sleeves and cap towards the inside, and that's got the silver or grey diamonds. Royce Domino is in fourth position, parked at the fence, Tommy the Kid. Last of all is Uncle Lucky. There's only five lengths first to last. The Grey Blitzen doing the buying and the bidding in front, three parts of a length. Insightful is right there, second. The favourite, Son of Raj, red sleeves and cap, waits towards the inside. Orange cap of Roy's Dominoes in fourth spot as they go past the halfway stage, 800 pig behind them. Tommy the Kids in the pink silks with the white blinkers, and that leaves Uncle Lucky the trailer. Favourite, Son of Raj, just got a niggle or two around about the 6.50 to stay in touch with them. The the Grey Blitzen by one length. Insightful is second. Tristan Godden is now asking Son of Raj to pick up. And he's got three lengths to make up. Still very, very green. Going to come around them. Now the Blue Silks of Insightful comes forward. Blitzen's on the inside. Son of Raj now to put it together. A length and a half to make up. Insightful lets the front. Uncle Lucky the outside. Son of Raj, Roy's Domino. Son of Raj hits the front. Uncle Lucky the outside. Stephen Chetty and Son of Raj can go to the winner's box now. Owned and bred, won it. Uncle Lucky, Roy's Domino and Insightful. Son of Raj, still exceptionally green, but he puts it together and they got the formula spot on so son of raj exceptionally green you would have noticed tristan godden at about the 700 meter mark he started to ask son of raj and he got serious on him he then hooked him around very very green going the 1600 second time out uncle lucky insightful roy's domino son of raj came under the early pump the son of Duke of Marmalade, bred by Stephen Chetty and also owned by Stephen Chetty, who's got his racing silks on, watched in the front of the grandstand jail with Peter Musket. So another one for Peter Musket and Tristan Godden had to really get him focused because he still does not know what racing's about and that can be expected. But at the end of the day, number one son of Raj will get into the winner's enclosure and he'll just build with each and every run experience wise. Back to the studio. As one of the punters on the side of the parading has uh, shouted, the favourite is home, the banker is home, so he's happy as punch and son of Raj. And uh, we're going to look forward to this interview because it's lovely to chat to uh, Stephen Chetty and he's brought his whole family to the races today and it just is so wonderful. But son of Raj is one, very green, a couple of the punters and uh, racing enthusiasts fainted at the top of the straight when uh, he had to get a little urgent on son of Raj. But Tristan Godden, cool, calm and collected. We'll talk to him in a moment about that. Tabiso is with me. He gets a thousand rand. Well done to you, Tabiso. On behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle, you get yourself a thousand rand. Well done. Thank you very much. Let's get to Tristan in first. And then we'll talk to Peter Mustard. Because he's in hot mustard form. Now, you uh, are going to tell us about the race. Because I was watching with D's and a few nerving, nerve-wracking moments. Just greenness uh, but uh, we all did faint at the top of the straight if you were nervous imagine the jock underneath um, <laughs> yeah you know he's still a baby um, his first run he really surprised us when running such a good race like that um, I think he won because of ability and in that sort of a field as well um, at the 800 I was actually under a lot of pressure and I just let him find his feet and um, try to give him a clear run as possible I must say Muzi rode a very clever race he rode his race to, for, to suit his horse and he knew what he knew his opposition. So, yeah, uh, once again, just a big thanks to Mr. Muscat. I can't thank him enough for the support. Um, to the whole Chetty family, lovely to have you all here today. Well deserved, guys. And then again to my sponsor, Sporting Post. Thank you, guys. I support, I appreciate it. Yeah, just on the phone to Lance Benson a moment ago and uh, yeah, going well with the, with the sponsored jocks. And well done to you, Tristan. And uh, my only advice to you is keep up the good work. You've been uh, given some wonderful golden opportunities. Take them with both hands and keep uh, firing as, as you are firing. Well done. Thank you, sir. Lovely. Let's talk to Peter Mustard. 
And, well, what can we say? Uh, obviously, a few nerve-wracking moments, but every winner you've had today, uh, you and I have chatted, and it's been wonderful. Well done, Peter. This, you really can be proud of your stable and your staff and yourself and, and your, your horses because they're really shining and shining brightly. Yeah, the, the string's ticking over very well. Um, first of all, huge congratulations to Stephen and his whole family. It's great to have you all, all on course to, 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 to witness uh, this horse's win today. As you say, a few nerve-wracking nerve moments just before they straightened and then he had to switch around them. Uh, he is still a puppy, so there's, he's going to go forward from here. Um, I really didn't think that he'd, that he'd find himself this quickly. Uh, with all respect to the opposition, uh, he, didn't, he didn't beat much today. But, uh, you know, he, he's, done it, he's done it well under trying circumstances through his, own, through his own inexperience. One more to come. Tread swiftly. We know what you're expecting. But uh, where's Roz? Roz, I've left home to work because we sh <laughs> she's uh, she's getting everything ready for the Cape Town trip. So uh, someone has to do it. <laughs> so well done, Peter. Well done to you and your whole team. It's been four winners in two days. Really well done. Thank you very much. Obviously, I must say a big thank you to to my whole team. This doesn't happen on its own. They they're they're a great great bunch to work with. Everybody's very dedicated. Works very hard, and I can truly say I really appreciate all their efforts. Well done. You. And obviously, once once again, a big thank you to Hollywood Bits. Much appreciated. Thank you, Peter. It's been a great pleasure to welcome and to bring uh, Stephen Chetty into the winners' enclosure. Owner, breeder, and uh, well dressed in your your lovely red silks. Stephen, more importantly than the win uh, of this horse today, the fact that you've bred, you know, you've bred son of Raj, and and the name, etc. To to look to your right and to see your family there. That must be even extra, even more extra special. Yes, thanks, Warren. It's uh, it is a special moment, and it's good to have my family on course. Um, I can tell you, it was uh, there were some heart uh, palping moments when it turned into straight. Just, I didn't even think that he's going to get uh, to the winning post, but uh, Tristan rode a sterling race and uh, he brought it home, and we are so grateful for that. Um, yeah, look, I'm I'm grateful that my family is here to spend. The time with me to experience this win. Uh, my other part of the family is at home, screaming, jumping, and shouting. And I'm sure the t the house, the roof, everything is down by now. <laughs> so yeah, it, it feels good. And uh, I just want to say thanks to Tristan. Um, without him, we obviously wouldn't be standing here. Um, but besides him, thanks also to Peter Musket. He's done the hard work at home, and uh, he's got a very professional, devastating team at home that's put it together. So I want to thank all the guys at home as well. They're always uh, willing to help. And when I go to the stables, they are very professional. So we obviously come from a very professional team. So I'm very thankful uh, for that. I would also like to dedicate this win to a very special person, uh, my dad. And uh, this specific person, which is Mark um, Cedric Vinson. Uh, fondly known by his uh, loved ones as Andy. He passed away on this day, so it's good that my horse can actually win on this day. And I'm sure he and my dad must be hatching up a whole lot of plans up there for a better life down here. So, yeah, I want to say, uh, you know, it's, it's good that we've got the win today. And uh, the celebration is going to start, Warren. This is a Jack moment. We're going to be having much more Jacks now <laughs> going forward. <laughs> Lovely. Well, it's just always a pleasure chatting, uh, Stephen. And, and, and I think we must maybe take this conversation further one day and have you on the podcast. That would be an absolute pleasure. No, thank you so much, Warren. Thank you for all the good comments and for always uh, checking out for my horses. I really appreciate it. Lovely. Stephen Chetty, go and enjoy the moment with the family. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Warren. Stephen Chetty and his family, absolutely wonderful. What a wonderful story about the anniversary. And, yeah, and of course, uh, you know, the family and friends looking down on them. So well done to Son of Raj and well done to the whole family. Really a, a special moment. The numbers, one Son of Raj has beaten Uncle Lucky. Third was insightful and fourth was the horse we never had in the quartet, Roy's Domino. <laughs>